Marlene, when a person first moves into a care home, what can the care partner expect to see? Is there an adjustment period? There's a huge adjustment period, and, and, I, and I think the more prepared you are for that adjustment period, the better it will be. And, and um, mostly the, person, the person's not going to want to stay there because they, they want to be back and they want to be back in their own home. And, and so there is an adjustment period. And usually I, I um, talk to care partners about what to expect. And, and what to expect are, are that you know, the person will be angry with you. They will be upset. They will, they will possibly be crying. They will, um, they will stay up, not sleep in their bed, um, not eat, not drink. What are some of the hallmarks of the transition? Some of the hallmarks are um, when someone first comes to to live with us. We 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 hope that you know where we always think it's good when the person will take some food from us or some some water from us or some juice or milk, and then and then slowly they start to become more familiar. I I never expect a person to sleep in their bed on the first few nights mm. because they don't they don't recognize that and they're afraid probably you know and there are many people there and and it's a strange environment and the person is is stressed so that's what you can expect but you have to know that that's normal and that that's that's to be expected and 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 I see family members going out the door um, crying and feeling mm. upset about that really really important that um, the reasons that you remember the reasons that the person is coming to to live in the care facility, and also that um, the thinking that it can keep your relationship together, um, rather than being um, a, a caregiver. Um, if you're a husband and wife, one person's a caregiver, then then it it doesn't allow you to be a couple. So it's important to know those mm. things and and understand that um, the the person will settle they will settle and and it, and they will become used to it and and they need to know that you're going to go away and come back again mm -hmm. so that that's the most important and there is a an adjustment period of i would say around between six and eight weeks and about the care partners is there an adjustment period for them as well yes there there's it, it's a huge adjustment for the care partner and the the first one um is is the feelings of guilt and the feelings of leaving the person behind, and also the worry and anxiousness. Is this care center going to be caring for my my person the way that I could? And 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 I think that probably not would be the, the first answer I would give because no one can care for the person like you can care for them. However, um, I think the, the, the adjustment for the, the care partner is that learning to trust the care staff, mm -hmm. um, learning the, the, the way that the care center works and learning that, that their person is going to be okay ultimately and, and then um, having that um, uh, problem-solving, um, helpful um, approach to the person's care rather than a, an us and a they. Mm. And, and I think that's really important. And the adjustment period also for, for the care partner, especially if, if um, you've been living alone with that person, um, don't go home to an empty house. Um, my suggestion is you always have somebody there for those first few nights so that you get used to being in the house alone. And also having somebody to talk to is really, really important to help support you through this difficult transition. Maybe now is a good time to talk about roles. What should you expect to see the staff member do and what should you expect to do yourself as a family member? In terms of a role, the family member should be the family member. Mm -hmm. And 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 also, you're the person as the family member, um, are the person with the history. I, I like to see a team, you know, a partner, mm -hmm. that families become partners in care rather than the us and the them. And, and that is a really important, um, uh, the most important, I would say, would be for the family member to build relationships with the care staff. Mm. rather than, a, and, and it should be a good relationship, not an adversarial relationship. Mm. Because uh, if, if the relationship is good, the communication is good, that's important. So I think that's something that, that both the staff and the family member need to work on. Do these staff and care partner roles change over time? 
You know, I, I think usually when, when, when someone comes to live with us and they've been living at home with, with a care partner, um, such as a family member, the family member is usually so, so tired mm. and worn out from having the 36-hour day of, of being um, there for that person 24/7 and without a break and 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 I think that's really important that 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 um, care partner understand that they need some rest mm-hmm. and and not to try and be everything to to everyone and and take that time to rest sleep and um, get get back to so that you can be a good family member to that that client or good husband or wife or whatever so that you can start to rebuild your relationship. As everyone is figuring out their new roles, how would you suggest uh, staff and family members build a good relationship? I think a a thank you goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And and, 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 you know, being able to say to the staff, you know, I I know that you're going to do the best. And you know, there, it's a, there's a an optimism to to your relationship rather than well, I'm going to be looking and seeing what you're doing wrong. You know, when you come um, and you bring your person into care, try and think of the whole place as your as the family. Mm-hmm. You know, try and you know. It's, so an example of that would be you know, if you're bringing grapes, a pound of grapes for your loved one, bring an extra pound. For, for you know the the other residents the staff you know it's really nice and and being able to tell the staff that you appreciate what they do they will be more likely to to come close to you I, I've been in situations where there's an adversarial um, relationship between a family member and and the staff and and the staff I, I I sometimes call it the cockroach syndrome where everybody runs away and hides <laughs> when the when the family member comes you don't want to be one of those mm-hmm. those families you want to be somebody who's in there to help wherever you can contribute the gifts from your family um, being able to um, give your grace in terms of um, knowing that everything isn't always perfect mm-hmm. and and that when you're caring for a, a large group of clients with dementia things don't always go the way that you think they might go. Somebody mm-hmm. might be wearing your mom or dad's sweater. Somebody else might be wearing, you know, your, your dad's shoes. There, there are things, and, and I find that if, if family members, um, you know, use their, their um, patience and their, their grace as a family to help everyone in the group, then you, I find those are the most successful families. I can see how building a positive relationship with the staff right from the beginning would really help things along. Now, what if a family member does have a concern about care um, with the staff? What's a positive way that they can approach talking about that? It's the old relationship bank thing, <laughs> you know. Um, so, so it's important to have positives in the relation bank in the relationship bank. Um, uh, hopefully, you know, I would say on the other side that the staff have to um, understand what the markers are if that families have too that that help them to feel more peaceful. So it's a it's a you know it's a two way street. So so I would suggest that if there is something that isn't working, that maybe you can make the suggestion to the staff member or you talk to the to the um, registered staff, talk to the manager. Can you give us an example about how that could go? so you want to make it as matter of fact as you can you know I noticed that dad um, does better in the washroom when you when you close the door three quarters of the way so that he doesn't feel his privacy is invaded you know something like that you know because I and you can say at home I know he always feels nervous Mm -hmm. when I do such so so using the the I messages rather than you you haven't done something right and you need to change it so so there's a it there's a um, you have to work on your your communication. Oh, I love that idea about it being a two-way street. Um, how can the staff member go about building a good relationship with the care partner? I help the staff to think of positive things um, about the the client um, that they can tell family members. Mm. You know, because it it's it's easy to say, oh, well, he he or she did A, B, C, or D. Mm-hmm. But it would be nice to be able to say, well, you know, this morning he was so bright when he woke up, and he was you know got out of bed, and he even put on his own shirt. You know, things like that 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 help the family to know. Gee, you know, it's like you know getting a you don't no one wants to get a bad report. Oh, yeah, I know when a staff member tells me that everyone loves your mom, she's so bubbly, it makes me feel very proud. <laughs> and, and, and I think that 
the more the staff can um, provide that reassurance that, you know, mom or dad is getting, you know, each day a little better, a little better, a little better. I think that that's important. Thank you so much, Marlene. This has been really helpful. Making the transition to a long-term care home involves understanding a lot of information and making a lot of decisions. Your local Alzheimer's Society is there to help you. Please contact them.